Have you ever watched a YouTube video and you're wondering how the YouTuber has managed to record their desktop and then show it to you? Well, what if I told you that it's built into Mac OS and it's totally free? So you've watched a couple of YouTube videos and you're wondering how do these YouTubers manage to record their Mac desktop? Do they use some sort of expensive application? Do they use some sort of tool? What are they doing? Well, what was if I told you that the actual tool is actually built into macOS and it's totally free to use? And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that tool is. But before we do that, if you guys do enjoy this video as you're watching it, or even right now, please do press the like button. At the same time as well, I make loads of videos like this and I also talk about older Macs and older iPads and iPhones as well. And if you like all that kind of stuff, please also do press subscribe and that icon's up right now. Right, back to the video. Ah, the Mac OS desktop. So beautiful, so clean. And I'm just gonna do a bit of browsing on it. And I've got the Apple web page up with the iPhone 11. And I want to explore this page, but at the same time as well, I want to record myself doing it. How do I do it? Well, guys, let me tell you the secret. All you have to do is you have to go to Launchpad down here. And all you need to do is open QuickTime Player. Now, you might think QuickTime Player is to play movies. Well, actually it is, but it can also record. What I mean is, if you go to File here in QuickTime Player, there's a third option down, it says New Screen Recording. And this literally says, does what it says on the tin. It records your screen. So I'm gonna select that. And what we can do, we can set a recording area. So I'm going to record my screen and this web safari page. And all we have to do is when we're ready to record it, we just have to press this record button down the bottom, wait five seconds and it will start recording. So let's press it now. Five, four, three, two, one, and the screen's recording. And we can tell it's recording by this stop button up here. Now, all we have to do is move around in this web page. So there is the beautiful iPhone 11. Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. Just the right amount of everything. And they certainly got that right. Apart from the price, but that's another matter. Love at first sight, second, third, fourth, and sixth sight. Well, they're not wrong there. It is a beautiful phone. It just got a whole lot harder to take a bad photo. Well, yeah, I guess so. I've still taken some bad pictures on my iPhone 11 Pro, but you know, that's just me. And the video footage, oh, that's one of a kind. That is certainly something good to watch. And we've got all the different bits and things we can do. We can apply filters, for example, if we wanted to. And that is cool on videos. Okay, everyone, spread out a bit. Ah, yes. Ultra wide photos. That is awesome. Look at those awesome pictures. The pictures that you'll never, ever be able to take on your iPhone. Only Apple people in white coats will be able to do. Not enough light? No problem. Night mode, an awesome mode to brighten everything up. And the portrait perfect picture. And the high key light mono effect, awesome. More great photos, ah, a dog. And a watermelon, it's always good. And family, also too, pretty cool. Smart HDR, yeah, 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 we're getting the point. There's lots of great things on this web page and I'm recording it right now. So I have enough recording. So what I want to do now is just press the stop button up here. And voila, look at that. Within a few seconds, I've got my video. And all we can do is just press play. And you can see my mouse moving around. And in a second, oh, we've got the scrolling. And the navigating, oh, there we go. Well, there we go, guys. You can see that's how easy it is to record your screen. So I'm just going to pause that. And what we want to do is actually save this picture. It is already saved, but I want to call it something else. So I'm going to go to save and I'm going to call it on my desktop iPhone 11. 
11 web page. And I'm going to save that. Awesome. And as you can see right here, I've got that recorded. Well, guys, it's as easy as that to record your desktop. And there we go. Now, I know what you're going to say to me. Matt, what about sound? What about everything else? Well, yeah, you actually have got a good point there. If you want to record sound, you can use the built-in mic if you've got a MacBook or if you've got an iMac. But if you've got something like a Mac Pro like I've got here, you might have to use something a bit different. And also the mics on iMacs, on MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs and everything like that are not the best. So you might want to invest in some of these. And the ones I've got here are from a lovely rival company, as you can see. So what I want to do is plug them into the USB port, put these on, and I'm now going to show you guys exactly how to record your voice over a video. So we're back on the beautiful clean Mac OS desktop and this time I want to explore the iPhone 11 Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my headset into the USB port that I've just done. You've got to trust me on that guys. I'm going to open up QuickTime and this time I want to go File, New Screen Recording again and the picture's the right size. Just to let you guys know, you can take some snapshots here options and you can also record the entire screen as well if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do the selected portion that we've marked out here. And what you want to do is click options and under microphone check that your headset or the microphone you want to use is selected. So mine says Microsoft Live Chat LX3000. So that's selected and I'm going to press record and in five, four, three, two, one, we are live and that's just been recorded. So all I want to do is click learn more. Ooh, the iPhone 11 Pro. Camera, camera, camera. Three awesome cameras. Midnight green body. And there was Pro. Lots of pictures of the camera lenses. We can take a closer look if we wanted to, but I'm gonna skip by. Oh, the Pro Camera System, three is the magic number. I bet you guys, in an iPhone or two, there'll be four cameras and they won't be able to say that anymore. Because it's beautiful. Ultra wide camera, wide camera, telephoto camera, telephoto sample, wide sample, ultra wide of the same landscape. Immerse yourself in that elegant, immersive interface to take photos. Oh, and the video, 4K video, shoot it, flip it, zoom it, crop it, cut it, light it, tweak it, love it. And I think that's enough for this video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to stop it by pressing the stop button and close down this browser. And here we have our video. Now it's saved automatically, so I'm not gonna name it something different this time. But what I'm going to do now to you guys is I'm gonna play this video back on this, um, YouTube video right here. So I'm not going to play all of it, but you'll be able to see the difference in how I sound compared to the microphone I use to record my actual YouTube videos. So all I want to do is click learn more. Oh, the iPhone 11 Pro. Camera, camera, camera. Three awesome cameras. Midnight green body. And there was Pro. Okay, I think that's enough of my irritating voice. So guys, I'm gonna say it again. It is as easy as that. And that is how YouTubers manage to record their Mac OS screen. It is very, very simple. And guys, that concludes this video. It was nice and short and it was sweet, but I have got more videos coming. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do press the like button down below. And at the same time as well, if you want to see more of my videos, please do press subscribe and check out my channel for all the other videos I've created. Until next time, guys, see you soon. Bye.